Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you sort of an empties slash hygiene and self-care favorites and fails video. So some of these items I have used up in their entirety and really liked them. Some items I've partially used and didn't like and some are just current favorites that I really wanted to share with you. So I've got kind of a mixture of a little bit of everything in here. Fragrance, hair, body care, face, all of that kind of stuff. I really enjoy these types of videos so I hope that you enjoy this one. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. My name's Alithia and on this channel we do often talk about fragrances but we also do a little bit more self-care and other things having to do with around the home and decluttering so if you like that kind of thing I would love if you would consider subscribing and with that out of the way let's get started in today's favorites and fails video okay so to start things off you guys one of my new favorite things is this twisted peppermint candle from bath and body works this is definitely a fave i finally just cracked into it today and lit it and i'm really really excited to get this going because a it is white so it matches all of the decor in my home and also the scent is just really beautiful it's like a really soft kind of a buttercream like pepperminty kind of scent and it's really really lovely i probably will end up taking the um label off just because the label is a little bit loud for me and I prefer it just to be white so to give you an idea it will probably end up looking more like that which I think is a lot better for my aesthetic of my home but it does have a really cute label um, but the scent inside is what I absolutely love and I'm super happy to finally be into this candle I did finally finish my marshmallow fireside candle Okay, so to start things off, you guys, why don't we talk about everybody's, one of everybody's favorite things, which is a fragrance. This is a fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel, and this has been surprisingly a favorite for me. And the reason I say surprisingly is because, as you guys know, I don't usually wear a lot of body sprays, but I have been really enjoying the way that this smells. Yeah, this is just a really comforting, cozy vanilla body spray it reminds me a little bit of the victoria's secret bare vanilla um, which i'll be talking about more in a video coming up but this one is kind of similar to the victoria's secret bare vanilla and the notes that you have in here are fresh vanilla bean warm caramel sugar cookies whipped cream and snow kissed musk so it does have like a very soft cozy comforting warm musky vanilla smell to it and I surprisingly really really like this it doesn't have crazy longevity I do have body sprays that last longer but if I spray this in a wool sweater or something or like a cardigan I will notice that this lasts all day actually I've worn this to work I've gotten compliments from patients when I've worn this there's just a little bit missing there's a little bit of a dent there so hopefully I can put more of a dent in this before the winter season is over so so next we have another win item this is my current sunscreen that I've been using on my face and you can't see through the bottle but it is about I would say it's about half gone and this is the copper tone pure and simple baby SPF 50 hypoallergenic and gentle 100% zinc oxide mineral sunscreen so as you guys know I'm a huge sunscreen fanatic I definitely recommend wearing sunscreen every single day even in the winter even when it's overcast even if you're not going outside I put sunscreen on every single morning it's one of the first steps of my entire skincare routine my skin has thanked me for it a hundred times over and I know that this is going to pay off dividends as I get older and also help prevent skin cancers and things like that um, so I really really like this it's not greasy but it does leave a dewy finish on my skin on my face and it kind of has the consistency of a light sort of a brightening moisturizer almost it does leave my skin looking a little bit lighter and brighter but it doesn't leave like a strong white cast so I do really like this but I really quite enjoy this you guys um, I actually really like the copper tone pure and simple for face the one that is specifically made for face but I can't find it anywhere anymore so I don't know if it's gone out of production or if they are just having a shortage but this one is very very similar and I really really like it and when it comes to sunscreens you guys it doesn't really matter whether it's made for babies adults all sunscreens are very very similar you just have to find one that you like and that you will wear consistently that is the most important thing and I have been just absolutely loving this and yeah it's about half gone so really really like this this is another win I've been using this for a few months already and I just love it another win is this cozy linen room spray from Bath and Body Works I absolutely love this you guys this is such a cozy warm like fresh laundry kind of smell oh yes it's so so 
laundry fresh. I just love it. You do have to be careful with these room sprays, especially if you are sensitive to smells and prone to headaches. I find that if I spray too much of this, I will get a headache. So I try to go very light and very sparingly with it. And I actually keep this one in the bathroom. And after I've given the house a good clean and I've given it like a head to toe thorough cleaning, I do like to give a couple spritzes of this in just in the bathroom. And it kind of clings to the shower curtain and it just makes the whole bathroom smell very fresh. Like I've just washed all the towels. I just absolutely love it. And it also radiates out into the hallway and down the stairs. So a little bit goes a long way with this. I would actually really like this in candle format because the spray is quite potent. And um, yeah, so I would really like to find a cozy linen candle from Bath & Body Works. Next up we have a fail and this is a skincare fail. This is the L'Oreal Paris 10% Pure Glycolic Acid Revitalift. This is an exfoliating um, AHA or alpha hydroxy acid that is meant to help slough off the top layer of your skin, give your skin a brightening effect, allow your other ingredients to penetrate more deeply into your skin. It's just basically a chemical exfoliator and I had actually heard good things about this one. I think I bought it on the advice of one of the dermatologists here on YouTube who suggested this for a very gentle kind of an everyday exfoliator and there's nothing wrong with it you can see that I've used about 20% of the bottle um, maybe 15 yeah 15 20% of the bottle and the only thing I don't like about this is I find that the concentration or the vehicle that it's in is very sticky and I find that it causes a little bit of pilling underneath my other skincare. So I just don't like the way that this feels on my skin. Um, I'm sure that it does just a fine job. I didn't get any kind of redness or reaction or anything to it, but I have decided to stick with my Moon Juice Acid Potion, I believe it's called. I'll put a photo of it on the screen for you guys. That one I got from Sephora. That thing is a... That is a big gun. Like that one actually does cause a little bit of tingling and burning um, and stinging for a few seconds. And I use that one like once a week, if that, and it does a really good job and it just lasts forever. It's not sticky. It's a very like watery in consistency. This one I found to just be a little bit too like sticky and I just did not like the formula. So this was not a favorite for me. This Next up we have a vitamin C serum and this one is from Timeless. This is the Timeless Skin Care 20% vitamin C ferulic acid and vitamin E and this one turned out not to work for me. I did decide to go back to my regular old skin SkinCeuticals which I'll talk about in a second um, but the reason I did not like this timeless one is because I don't know if you can tell from the bottle but it leaks. Um, I find it difficult and cumbersome to pump out into my hand. It kind of just splatters and spurts everywhere. I don't know if it's a malfunctioned pump. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, but it is a pump, which I kind of don't like, and it does leak even when it's standing straight up in the bathroom. And then I would end up with like yellow vitamin C all over the bottom of the drawer in the bathroom. It was really annoying. Um, and also I don't like that because it's opaque, you can't see how much you have left. And I think there's actually quite a bit left. I think there's like probably 30% of the of the bottle is left. Um, but I just could not with the leaking and making a mess in the bathroom. And this is supposed to be a pretty good dupe, a more affordable dupe for the gold standard of vitamin C serums. <clears throat> which is by SkinCeuticals. So this is the one that I have decided to go back to. This is my second bottle of this. I think I will just keep repurchasing the SkinCeuticals. This is the CE Ferulic. This is like the gold standard, the best vitamin C serum on the market. So they have CE Ferulic and Floritin CF, and both of those are very good vitamin C um, serums. It just kind of depends on what you need for your skin. So you can look on the website and decide if there's one that works better for you. By the way, none of this is sponsored. This is a very expensive expensive vitamin C serum. It's about 200 Canadian dollars and yes, I think it's worth it. I have seen a positive change in my skin since I've started using this. And this is basically to put it in layman's terms is one of the only ones that has the science behind it and the studies behind it that show that it actually is stable, penetrates, has an effect on your skin. A lot of vitamin C serums that you can get on over the counter don't stay stable when they're exposed to light and air. Once you apply them to your skin, they pretty much stop working. Um, so the stability comes into question as well as the formula and does it actually penetrate and does it actually make an impact in your skin. This is one of the vitamin C's on the market that actually does have the science and the data and the studies behind it. And it's very highly recommended from people in the dermatology community. As you can see, I am about, I don't know, 30%. 
Oh my gosh, I'm almost 50% of the way through. Um, so this is quite expensive and I put five drops of this on my face every single day in the morning before I put on anything else. Um, and this is the one that I think I'm just going to keep purchasing because it works for me. I love the formula. It doesn't leak. It comes in this darkened bottle to help protect it from light because you don't want this exposed to light. It will degrade faster. And I just overall really, really love this vitamin C serum. I will be honest, just in the effort of saving money and this serum also gets really good reviews. I would buy this one if it came in a better package, if it wasn't leaking, if it, if I could see what was in it, if the pump was better. I just, I really hate the packaging of this. It's also very maximal, it's bulky. And as you can see, it just leaks. So it's, and this is what happens to vitamin C after it's been oxidized. It changes into like this yellowy orangey color. Um, and that's how you can tell it's no longer, it's not good anymore. So if your vitamin C serum ever turns to that color, it's no longer good. Um, but yeah, basically when it came to the timeless, it was just the packaging and the fact that I couldn't see what was left and I just found it annoying, cumbersome, not a luxurious experience whatsoever. Whereas I feel like I'm getting the whole shebang when it comes to the SkinCeuticals. I just love it. Um, so yeah, so the Timeless was a fail. I was saving this specifically to share with you guys. And the CE Ferulic is a win for me. Another item that has been a win for me, and it's a little bit expensive, but I don't use it all the time, is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This is so popular, you guys. I'm sure that many of you have either used this or you've seen it out and about. Quite an expensive um deep repair mask or conditioning mask for your hair. So this is how much I have left of the tub. So it is getting pretty near completion. And this just makes my hair so soft and I just absolutely love the way that it works with the other shampoos that I use. So will I repurchase this mask? I don't know because although I really, really like it, it was very expensive and I think that I can get similar effects with other deep conditioners that don't cost this much. I did want to try this though because I had heard so many good things about it and I do think that it's a really nice product. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit expensive for me, a little bit too steep, too rich for my taste. So I don't think that I will repurchase this once I run out. Um, but I did want to share it with you guys and just tell you that I really, really enjoyed it and I felt that it was a really nice product and left my hair feeling really nice. So, so next up we have another fail and this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Glossy Nourishing Hair hair oil. So I purchased this from Sephora a few months ago because they were all out of the deep conditioner or the Sol de Janeiro leave-in conditioner. And I really just wanted this scent in my hair. And so many people recommended trying the Sol de Janeiro hair products because they smell amazing. So I bought this and I will say you guys, this did not work for me very well at all. I found it to be very heavy and very greasy and almost kind of sticky. So applying it to my hair was not fun. I felt like I was pulling and tugging at my hair just to get this through my hair. It's a very rich, thick oil. So the next time I'm at Sephora, I am going to ask if I can exchange this or return it um, because it just did not work for me at all. It does smell amazing, I will say that. Um, it really does smell amazing. It did make my hair smell nice, but I could only use a tiny, tiny bit of it. And I felt again that it was very greasy and very heavy and just too thick and oily for me. So it just did not work for my hair type. I have a feeling that this would work for a lot of people's hair type, especially if you have more thick or coarse hair. But for me, because I have such fine hair, it just did not work. Um, so this was a fail. I hardly even used any of it and I just decided it was not for me and this will definitely be going back. Now on the flip side, I have a hair oil that I have really been enjoying. This is the Playa Ritual Hair Oil. This I really do like. This was quite expensive as well. I think it was on par with the Sol de Janeiro. I don't think it was much more expensive than that. Um, and this comes in like a little... A little pump you just unscrew this and then you push this in and it's a pump and a little bit goes a long way and this is not greasy this is a very lightweight oil and I can put you know a few drops of this into my hair a fairly decent amount and it does not weigh my hair down it's not difficult to work through and it does help my hair stay hydrated and more moisturized and look shinier and healthier so I do quite like this oil Will I repurchase it again when I'm done? I honestly don't know because I do prefer leave-in conditioners to oils for some reason. Um, but you can see that it's a very like lightweight, kind of a runnier, <laughs> a runnier or less viscous product. And I'll just show you compared to the Sol de Janeiro. You can really see like how much thicker the Sol de Janeiro is compared to the Playa. 
Um, so yeah, this one was too greasy. This one is really nice. Um, yeah, again, I don't know if I will repurchase this just because I do prefer my leave-in conditioners. And since we're talking about leave-in conditioners and Sol de Janeiro specifically, this I really, really like. This is the Milky Leave-In Conditioner, and this is fantastic, you guys. I absolutely love it, especially if you have thin hair like I do. This is not heavy or greasy. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It smells fantastic, and it makes my hair so soft. I absolutely love it. You get a pretty good chunk for the price that you pay, and a little bit goes a long way and because I only wash my hair once every four or five days this lasts me forever so even though it's a little bit more expensive I feel like it's worth it when I do wash my hair I want a good product I want a good leave-in conditioner and this one has just been so nice I'm really really impressed with it and I like this a lot better than the oil so staying with the topic of hair we have a shampoo and conditioner which I have used the whole way through which is very good for me usually what happens with shampoo and conditioner is I try a shampoo and conditioner out I realize that I don't love it or I get bored of the scent or I get bored of the formula I want to try something different but because these were kind of specialized and more expensive shampoos and conditioners I wanted to use up the entire containers and see if they actually did anything for my hair so this is the Olaplex bond maintenance shampoo and the bond maintenance conditioner now I neither loved nor hated these. A little bit does go a long way. Even though these are quite expensive, I will say you don't need very much of these to um, work up a good lather and to get your hair clean. You really don't need very much. Maybe like a dime-sized amount or even a nickel-sized amount of this was more than enough to shampoo my entire scalp. So that was really nice. Um, so I did feel like it was good value for money. Um, however, I don't know if I'll repurchase them because I don't know that they actually improved my hair like I can't say that after using these my hair was significantly better than it was before so I don't know for me personally maybe it did like and it's one of those things that I don't notice but it maybe did improve my hair somehow but I just I feel like it didn't make a big enough difference that I would actually invest in these again because they are quite expensive Olaplex is not cheap um, but I did go through the entire shampoo and conditioner and I did want to share with you guys just my thoughts on them overall because I don't know a lot of people who've personally used these um, and I mean they were nice like I said it wasn't like groundbreaking mind-blowing like I don't know so let me know your thoughts on the Olaplex so this was kind of like neither a win nor a fail they were just sort of so-so and I just wanted to save the containers to share with you also can we appreciate how pretty they are <laughs> they're very like this is like me packaging very minimalist very aesthetic looks really nice against the background another hair product that I used the entire thing up it's pretty much empty there's like maybe one spray left is the chi 44 iron guard thermal protection spray so this I think I got from winners or home sense so I didn't pay full retail price for it and I again this was like neither a love nor a hate I liked that it wasn't greasy it didn't weigh my hair down I have tried some heat protective sprays that were very greasy and added a lot of weight to my hair I felt that this did not do that but again this is one of those things that I can't tell did it help or did it not like can you tell can you tell that you're protecting your hair from heat adequately like how do you actually tell aside from months and years down the road if your hair is breaking off I guess from using heat on it I don't know I really don't know if this did anything um I can tell that my ends are still quite dry and brittle and I do really need a haircut like the ends of my hair are getting quite brittle um but I don't know if that's because this wasn't effective or is it just the way that I treat my hair like who knows so I don't know like this was okay and if I found it for a good price I might purchase it again but I honestly don't know if it did anything <laughs> but it could just be one of those things that you're not going to be able to tell it's doing anything until months and years down the road I don't know but anyways I went through this whole container and it was neither great nor terrible it was okay I would purchase it again if I found it for a good deal just because I feel like I should be using a heat protectant but whether or not this was better or worse than like a drugstore heat protectant I really don't know so I would like to know your guys' thoughts down below on heat protectants do you have a heat protectant that you know works like you've seen the results of it improving your hair and what one is it please recommend I'm looking for another good heat protectant. The next item that I have been loving, and I actually recently went through a whole bottle of this. This is my second bottle. This is a repurchase I wanted to show you guys because 
Uh, it's not very often that I find a holy grail skincare product. I often will switch through cleansers until I find one that I really love. And it really takes a lot for me to find cleansers and face products that I love enough to repurchase. So I was really excited about this. And this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Cleansing Oil for Face. So the whole purpose of using a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, if you are not familiar, is it's the first step of a double cleanse method. So the oil is intended to break apart your makeup, your sunscreen, it kind of emulsifies it and breaks it apart off your face and then you add water, turns it into this frothy, white, milky liquid that just flushes down the drain. So it really helps break apart oils in your makeup better than just doing a single cleanse. Then you go in with a cleanser to get rid of any of that residue and make sure your skin is actually totally clean. Hopefully that makes sense. I have been loving this so much you guys and I know a lot of people out there use more expensive um, cleansing balms and I'm not saying that I'll never use a different balm or a different cleansing oil. I have tried the Clinique, I think it's called the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I liked it. There was nothing wrong with it, but it's like three or four times more expensive than this. And I thought if this works really well, why would I switch it up? So I did try the Clinique for like a few days and I just decided it wasn't much better for me than this. So I just went back to this. This also has grapeseed, jojoba, and rosehip oils and vitamin C. Um, and Palmer's cocoa butter is just phenomenal for the skin. I used the actual lotion when I was pregnant. I didn't get a single stretch mark. I know a lot of that is hereditary and also just my body type. Um, but I swear by Palmer's in general. Like it's such a good company. And this is my second bottle of this. And as you can see, I use it. I use this every single day at night as my first step of my skincare routine. And I just love it. It works so well, it takes off all of my sunscreen and my makeup. And I really, really would recommend checking it out. If you haven't, $9.99, you guys, Canadian, works like a charm. So would really recommend this. And sticking to the skincare, I wanted to show you my cleanser that I have been loving. I purchased this a few months ago and I had kind of been back and forth between cleansers. Finding a cleanser for me that washes my face well, removes all of my makeup and all the residue from my first cleanse and does not strip my skin or leave it feeling dry that has been a challenge for me and I know my skin by the way if you guys are wondering I have dry skin and slightly sensitive skin I do not have oily skin I'm the type of person who has to use moisturizer every day twice a day or my skin gets dry so I'm that girl <laughs> so this has been fantastic for me CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin um, and so this actually foams up a little bit it is a starts off as a cream turns into a foam absolutely love this you guys it's non scented it's very gentle it never irritates my skin um, and as you can see I am over halfway through the container I've had this since probably I would say maybe beginning of summer middle of summer is when i when i started using this and i just really love it and i would repurchase this and i can't say that for a lot of cleansers i've used most times when i've used a cleanser i i don't love it enough that i would repurchase it but i really really like this one so if you have dry irritated skin and particularly i would i want to say aging skin like if you're in your 30s and your skin doesn't just bounce back overnight and you actually are like having to be careful with what you put on your face, do try this cleanser. I really, really like it. I like it better than Neutrogena. I like it better than Cetaphil. Um, I like it better than Aveeno. That is a major win for me that I did wanna share with you guys and that is the hydrating cream to foam cleanser. Now, another skincare item. This is the last skincare item that we have in today's video. This is a very expensive um, face cream from Sephora that I sort of started using on a whim by just by a fluke because I saw somebody in a video on YouTube using it and they had used this for years and years and they swore by it and they just absolutely loved it, said it was the greatest thing ever. I looked at the price and just about fell over because this little tub of moisturizer is 80 Canadian dollars. Actually, it might even be more than that. I'm not even sure. <laughs> might be $100, I'm not sure. But this is the Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. And initially I had just gotten the little, actually I think I still have it upstairs. I had gotten the little like travel size of it and that little thing lasted me forever. The thing about this cream is it does last you for a really long time. And I will take the cap off and show you the consistency and what it looks like, but I wish that you could smell this product. It does have a subtle fragrance. It's not strong by any means and it's in this like frosted glass container. I absolutely love it. So I don't use this 
twice a day. I have my Cetaphil um, hydrating night cream that I use at night, and that one has been my holy grail night cream for my face. I haven't switched that up in months. I absolutely love it. I've shown that to you guys before. It is my holy grail night cream for my face. Nothing works as good as that for me. It's just perfect for my skin. My skin is very happy when I use it. This, however, is like my morning treat. So because it is so expensive, and honestly, you guys, this feels so luxurious. This feels like I am at a spa. Every single time I put this on, I feel like I'm getting a spa treatment. It is so luxurious and satisfying and pampering, and I just love the experience of using this. In addition to that, it makes my skin feel fantastic, like absolutely fantastic. So what I do in the morning is I get up, I wash my face, I pat it dry, but while it is still slightly damp, I apply my topicals, which is my vitamin C serum. Then I apply this, then I wait a couple minutes and apply sunscreen. But this is the third step in my morning skincare routine and I have been doing this for months and I absolutely love it. Okay, so this is the the cap and this is the consistency of the cream you guys and this actually lasts a really long time i have had this particular tub open now for i don't even know well over well over a month i think maybe even a month and a half and i've hardly put a dent in it because you really do not need very much of this so even though the price is exorbitant um it does last a long time and a little does go a long way and you guys i cannot tell you how much like the way this smells, you just have to try it. You really, really do have to try it. Get the little travel size one. I promise you, honestly, try it and then come back and tell me or write me on Instagram and tell me if I have made you a lifetime believer. Like this is, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Part of it is the way it smells. It is, part of it is the way it smells. Um, but you know me, I'm very much into scents. But having a luxurious scent to a skincare product just it completes the entire experience and then on top of that how this is so creamy and rich and luxurious but without being greasy or oily but it is so moisturizing and so lovely and I just I feel like a million bucks every time I use this and this is one of those small like splurges that I allow myself to do even though it's kind of expensive because it does add so much value to my morning routine. It makes me feel so good about myself. I will link it down below if you're interested. Gosh, it just smells, it just smells phenomenal. It just makes me feel like a queen, like literally like a queen every time I use it. So can't recommend that enough. And I have tried other expensive moisturizers. Like I've tried Lise Watier and a few other ones. This one just takes the cake for me. Just yeah, chef's kiss. And just because this is kind of an empties video, I wanted to share with you a couple more items that are empties. And the first item is a, well, they're both hairsprays. This is the John Frieda Volume Lift Lightweight Hairspray. I have to say, I really, really like this. It's not heavy. It doesn't weigh your hair down, but it does provide a really good hold. And the John Frieda has been like my go-to um, most repurchased hairspray ever. However, they did just either change the formula or they've gotten rid of their previous ones. I don't know if you guys have ever used the John Frieda Frizz Ease hairspray. I used to get the intense hold and also the like firm hold, the two strongest holds. Honestly, I don't know if there's like a hairspray shortage or if the hairspray trucks keep breaking down, but literally they have not restocked in months. They have not restocked. So because of that, I had to try a new one. So I did try this one and I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. I will repurchase this. It gives me a really good amount of hold. It says it's light. It says it's light, um, but it's lightweight, but it does give a pretty good hold. And the other item is another hairspray. When I can't find my favorite John Frieda, or if I want something that's a lighter hold, I do go for the Tresemme, and I do really, I do really enjoy this. So it comes in a huge container. It's very affordable. Um, yeah, hairspray is something I'm also very, very picky about because I either find they're too watery or they don't dry fast enough or they don't, I don't know, I, the particles are too big, like I don't know. It's I'm just weird about my hairspray. Um, I like them to be very specific and a certain, a certain way. So I do really like this one, but yeah, these are my two hairsprays that are empty that I have used the whole way through without feeling like I needed to switch or buy something different. I felt that was significant. And like I always say, if something is not broken, don't fix it. So yeah, those are the two last wins in today's video. 
So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little favorites and fails video. If you like more of these videos, definitely let me know and I will make sure to do more of them. And I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.